Outside the vast glass houses at London's Kew Botanic Gardens, the temperature is below freezing. Inside, the heat and humidity replicate a tropical jungle. Aaron Davis leads Kew's research into coffee. This is Arabica coffee, our preferred coffee, the one we drink in, in high streets and at home. It has a superior taste. And this coffee provides us with about 60% uh, of the coffee that we drink globally. The other species over here is Robusta coffee. Uh, so this, this has a slightly larger leaf. Um, this coffee provides us with the other 40% of the world's coffee supply. The cultivation of Arabica and Robusta coffee beans supports millions of livelihoods across Africa, South America and Asia. But they're under threat because of climate change. In some cases, yields are dramatically reduced uh, because of increased temperatures or reduced rainfall. But in some cases, as we've seen in Ethiopia, you might get a complete harvest failure and death uh, of the trees. The solution could be growing deep in the forests of West Africa. There are around 130 species of coffee plant, but not all taste good. In Sierra Leone, Davis and his team identified one candidate growing in the wild, Stenophyla. And this is extremely heat tolerant and is an interesting species because it matches Arabica in terms of its uh, superb taste. A further two coffee species also show promise for commercial cultivation in a changing climate, Liberica and Eugeniades. That has low yields <laughs> and very small beans, but it has an amazing taste. Some believe the taste is far superior. At the 2021 World Barista Championships in Milan, Australia's Hugh Kelly won third prize with his Eugeniades espresso. Today you'll taste pink guava, fresh pineapple and passion fruit. Researchers hope Kelly's success could be the breakthrough moment for these relatively unknown beans. The team at Kew Botanic Gardens is working with farmers in Africa on cultivating the new coffees commercially. Catherine Kiwuka oversees the projects in Uganda. What requirements do they need? How do we boost its productivity? Instead of it being dominated by only two species, we have the opportunity to tap into the value of other coffee species. It's hoped that substantial volumes of Liberica coffee will be exported from Uganda to Europe this year. Researchers hope it will provide a sustainable income for farmers and an exciting new taste for coffee drinkers. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.